Ugh. Why do you gotta do this to me for? Stop trying <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Alright, now we're a ballistic missile. All right. We'll be safe on that one too. Let's go back. Let's figure out what's going wrong. Great to be home after five weeks of work. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> I'm glad you're home too, man. I'm adding more wings. I want to get this specific build fixed and working. Hi, Jeff. It's morning somewhere. Welcome to the internet. I hope you're well. Welcome in. All right, run test. Okay, that's one mission. Stay on target. technically morning here I mean if it's technically morning doesn't that mean it's actually morning hey we did it go Apple is currently 25,000 It's midnight. There you go. That works. Awesome. We are escaping the atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. Good deal. So let's turn ourselves horizontal and let's punch it, Chewy. You ready to punch it? Let's go out in the water. Boom. Let's go! Horizontal! Is this game physics based? It is. So this isn't, this is an alternate universe. This isn't Earth. This is the planet Kerbin. Everything is scaled, everything is equal to what it would be on Earth, around Earth, but it's scaled to like one or two thirds the size or one third the size, everything's smaller. So like we can go to the moon, it's called the MUN. It's, it's scaled smaller, but it's all physics based, yeah. There's gravity, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. And we just started a brand new challenge today. This, this is a career mode save. Um, we're naming Kerbals after people in chat and we're doing missions and stuff. So this is this is our second mission. We had to get into atmosphere, which, or out of atmosphere, which is above 70,000 meters, which we did. So now we're able to float out. We can see the sun. Um, here's how the game looks. There's the moon. Then there's a secondary moon called Minmus. This is the Earth analog. The only thing that looks like Earth is this right here looks like uh, Africa. Everything else is kind of just like congealed together. There's a giant crater here and stuff. If you go out from there, we've got a Mercury analog, a Venus analog, a Mars analog. We have a Ceres analog out in the, out in the uh, asteroid belt, a Jupiter analog, and a Pluto analog. But there's nothing else. But they all have their own names. Some of them have their own moons. It's it's pretty neat. No, the Earth is not copyright orange. They just don't 
want to do real names because people are going to be like, well, actually, Mars doesn't look like that. It actually has a dimple on latitude 55 and, and longitude 42, and, and this is inaccurate, and the game is inaccurate, therefore I will never play this game again. That's why they don't do that, because they don't want people riding their ass about it. They'd rather just play, make a fun game that people can play and not have to worry about all the... All the people, yeah, all the people with their own opinions about stuff. Excuse me, but I think I know what I'm talking about. So they made it look close, but also look like it. That way people can still have fun on them. Hi, Slokas. Welcome in. How are you? So now we're going to re-entry burn. And then we should be safe. This tiger fan, look how happy he is. He's ecstatic. But in, in career mode, there's a research and development building where you have to kind of progress, Jaff. So they want you to like get science and and um, use that science to to learn breakthroughs, to get better rockets and better better things and this and that. And and you use that to make your ships better. That way you can go further out into space and get even more science. It's a feedback loop. Here's our re-entry burn. You can see this is showing us that these panels are starting to overheat. And you can see the atmosphere indicator here. We're getting into the thicker atmosphere now. And like you can see like arrow forces, that's drag. This is lift. If you're making airplanes and stuff, you can look at all this kind of stuff and, and whatnot. Uh the sure, Jaff. You want to keep your Kerbals alive. So this is called Kerbal Space Program. That's a little Kerbal. They're little green men. You want to keep them alive. If they die, you run out of people to do missions with. One of our so so you do get you do get computer probes later to do unmanned missions. But but one of our missions or one of our challenges is every single mission has to be manned. Hi Opalani. Thanks for coming in. Enjoy your lurk. <clears throat> they look like this. See, they got they got like a little uh, what's that called? A widow's peak. And their hair is really tightly cropped. They got like a fade. Also, he's wearing blue. I don't know why it's blue. I made it orange. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. He's very fancy. He is. They're all fancy. They're they're pinky out when they drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we splash down. The graphics are a little weird. All right, and then we recover. He has been recovered. And we have a successful mission. Now we get more science, we get more money, which means we can start upgrading our facilities. Like right now, everything everything's like dirt and, and bare bones. And as you upgrade it, you can... Um, you know, it gets bigger and better, and facilities get a little cleaner and whatnot. <clears throat> I don't think we're there just yet. What's our other missions here? Conduct observational. I don't want to do that. Orbit Kerbin. Okay, we can do that, probably. Let's go see what our R&D tree has. R&D. We got 43 science we can spend. So that gets us the swivel. We're going to need that. This gets us a uh, barometer, heat shields, and legs. We're not, we don't need the legs yet. There's an aerodynamic nose cone. Where's, where is struts? Right there. 
That's 45 science. Struts are like super duper important. We need those. So maybe unlock these. Let's unlock these for 20. I got 18 science left. <clears throat> that gets us more science. This gets us aerodynamics and decouplers. Uh, let's get this. It'll allow us to get the science for that. So we'll research that. We'll go out here. Um, we'll make our little roly-poly machine and go get science. So let's go ASA002, uh, Kerbin, or KSC Crawler of V1. Okay, take all this off. Take this off. Take that off. Okay. Uh, electric charge. I don't have batteries yet. I want to put science on here. I think I want to put multiples of each one since we only have a little bit. Let's, uh, what happens if we do this? That's on the other side over there. Okay. It's not really what I want. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel like these aren't gonna last very long. Okay, um, I'm gonna save this. We're gonna put Tiger Fang and Bob on board. And we're gonna launch it. Welcome to our crawler. Hopefully it works the way we want it to work. It does. Okay. All right, so. But it matters where you put these attachments, right? It does. It does. So crew report, mystery goo. Uh, log pressure, log temperature. All right, let's go. Wee! Is this a manned dizziness test machine? No. It is a science vessel. Thank you very much. Why are we going in the same circle? Oh my goodness. We don't have wheels yet. We haven't researched wheels. So we're doing our best, okay? Let's go ahead and transmit that to another crew report. Wait, what happened? Oh, I don't have a comms device. Oh man, I have to recover. We need an antenna. We need an antenna. Hold on, we need an antenna. It's okay, we got a little bit of science. We're, we're running that back out there again. I just need to put an antenna on it. Uh, 
antenna. We'll put it right here. You know what? Let's do this instead. Not that. We'll put one here. And one over here. <laughs> there we go. Go! Now we're even more badass. We got antennas. Hold on. Uh, extend, please. <laughs> we off! I don't know what MCC is, so I can't tell you yes or no. So apparently no. All right, observe goo. Oh, that's still the launch pad. Oh, I thought the crawler way was different. Oh, I guess I got to get to that point there to be the crawler way. Don't break, little guys. We gotta track our battery while we do this. <clears throat> oh, crap. Get over there! Alright, this should be a new quote unquote biome. Observe Mystery Goo. Crawler way! Yeah, we did it. Crew report. We'll transmit that. We got pressure data. Bam. Temperature data, bam. All right, let's keep going. Are the Kerbals pushing from the inside? No, it's got a control wheel in it. <clears throat> We're running out of electric charge though. We might have to recover. Because I want to tag that building, but I don't think we're going to get there in time. Smallest biome ever. No, nah, the smallest biome is the one at the flag. And look at that. Look at that all-wheel drive. I guess what I'll do is I'll come out here and get some science. Solar panels? We haven't unlocked them yet, L-Crafter. <laughs> we're, we're, we're third mission in career mode, dude. Yeah, let me just reach and grab those real quick. I left them in my other wallet over here. All right, let's recover. We got some science. Free for all, I'm in. We don't get solar panels for a really long time, dude. <laughs> Solar panels are like. Out here. 90 science. We're, we're here. One step at a time, my friend. One step at a time. Alright, missions. What we got? We can finally get into orbit of Kerbin. So let's do that. I don't want to test any of these things. I don't want to do any tourist missions yet or VIP missions yet. 
I just want to do the orbit. Okay, let's do the orbit. We're orbiting Kerbin! And then we can upgrade our facilities and go. What does free for all mean? It's a mini game here in chat. It just gives you points. Uh, Kerbin Orbit. Urban orbits. It's a free for all. If you notice what the what the bot's saying, it's like a drinking game. Everybody get gathers around. We open up a cask of ale and we drink. Whoever's the last one standing gets points. It's like you all come to a table, you put some coin on the table, and then you you try to drink. Whoever's the last one drinking gets all the coin. It's supposed to fit into the theme. The medieval armament. So we're all sitting around a tavern. Waiting for battle. And there you go. See, Jaff. Jaff came out on top. So she wipes off her. She's like, yep, give me all that money. Thanks. And there you go. Until next time. Let's see, uh, let's make this our 30 kilometer ship. And then that's gonna have a fuel tank on it. We're not, we don't have any, any struts. This is gonna be kinda, kinda scary. A thousand says 7.29? Oh my God, that's a lot. How about this? 5.46. Let's turn this down. All right, 1.8. That's good. 1.8. How much do we weigh? Four tons. Five tons. Uh. So then how much is that? If we're going to orbit, what does that put us at? 1,400? Ooh, that's really close. 2.52? Oh, wait, this isn't right. 1200. Yeah, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. It's close, though. Boy, is that close. We might have to decouple. We might have to just have to be straight liquid fuel at this point. Oh, Jaff. This is, this is totally used. Uh... Worked on with NASA and stuff. They, they 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 utilize it. How you doing, Hellhound? Thanks, buddy. It's a rocket, nonetheless. Nine tons. Let's see. This one has more thrust. 1501 at 1.84. Is that sea level? Really? So that puts us at 3,000 delta V. We're, we're like so stupidly close to being able to do it with just this. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe I should do an extra tank on each one. So let's do that. And we'll do this. So we're at 1506 at 1 1.53 and then 2300, it's 3800. Okay, that should be enough. But now we gotta shore ourselves and make sure that we're not gonna flip into a million pieces because there's no struts. So we're gonna need some fins. Gonna need some fins. Do we have any control? We have no control. It's literally just gonna be a pilot and some science. We have 11 parts that we can put on our ship. So maybe we can put some science. I'll put, we don't need that many. I, I, do, I do want two of each though, since we're having to take a pilot. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do two science, two barometric, Two thermometer. Okay. 
Push these in just a little bit. I should have them on the sides, shouldn't I? That would make more sense. That way it's at least balanced across the craft. And then push those in. Like that. 13.8 tons. How you doing, Glack? Welcome in, buddy. Exclamation point KSP. We'll get you all the information that you desire. I know, Element. That's a bug in the game. Imagine that. Imagine the game having bugs. All right, let's go. Yeah, I've got I've got the music turned off, dude. Games have bugs, never. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. We'll double check it here in a minute after I get done with this, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's a bug. It only happens sometimes. We have liftoff. I'm afraid to turn. I'm gonna wait till we get a little faster. See how we're like wobbling back and forth? This is not a very secure ship. It is not turning very well. Yeah, it sure is, buddy. All right, here we go. Decoupling. Throttle up. Now we gotta get around. We're probably gonna have a high apoapsis. But I gotta get ourselves horizontal. We're probably gonna stop burning at around 80,000 apoapsis. That way we can use the rest of our Delta V to get ourselves horizontal. I think, we're, I think we're just barely going to make it. <clears throat> yeah, we're in. We're in near one, day one. We're still in the first day of our armament. <laughs> I believe in you, little rocket. Once we get better technology, we'll be able to see, like, estimated time. We'll be able to see all kinds of stuff. We'll have better stuff, and the ship will be nice, and it'll gimbal, and be beautiful, and... Okay, so there's 80,000. We're just going to hang out. Once we get into atmosphere, we're going to do some science. All right, crew report. I cannot transmit it. We should have brought an antenna. I can log temperature. I can log pressure. What's up, Cheetah? How are you, bud? Welcome in. Sayaru, exclamation point KSP. It is indeed a new run, my friend. <clears throat> 